Both sound quality and functionality exceed higher-end models in some areas. Pioneer PD-7030 59,800 yen It is a higher-end model of the PD-6030, the cabinet size and structure are the same, and the honeycomb structure bottom plate is extremely durable. It has a wide range of functions and is comparable to the higher-end model 8030. Comes with auto program editing, convenient for dubbing to cassettes. There are 10 keys on the main body, and the remote control has 4 more buttons than the 6030. The display has also become 8 digits, increasing the display capacity. The actual weight was 4.5 kilograms, 0.5 kilograms more than 6030, but the main difference was around the panel and the legs. It has cup-shaped legs that are larger than the 6030. The inside is very similar to the 6030, and if you compare it with the 6030, you will see that it has a 12VA transformer, a durable circuit board, an LSI with a copper plate, and a mechanism with a large diameter stabilizer. The unnecessary radiation in measurement data 1 is a little high, but the F characteristics in 2 are flat and the high end is well extended. The level of 22.05 kHz is higher than 8030. Even at minus 90 dB playback in 3, the linearity and SN ratio are good. The square wave in 4 is an analog filter type, the lysages in 5 is thicker, the phase difference between L and R is large, and the 5 photos are exactly like the 6030. However, the sound is different. I remember listening to it compared to the 6030 when it was a prototype and there was a huge difference in sound quality and sound field. In particular, the three-dimensional spread of the sound field exceeded that of the 8030. Actually, the one I tested this time seems to have been used around a lot, so the sound is a little different. What was particularly different was the relationship with the AC polarity, the prototype model had a white wire ground, which lowered the ground potential and widened the sound field. Even with this test device, the ground potential decreases when the white wire is grounded, but the sound field becomes narrower. The sound field is wider when the white line is set to hot, and I think this is the same as when the white line was set to hot on the prototype model. There may have been some kind of trouble with the test unit, and the problem may have occurred when connecting the white wire ground, which would normally reproduce a vast three-dimensional sound field. As for me, I have listened to the prototype twice and confirmed the sound quality and sound field, so I would like to accept that as the correct answer. In other words, this is a CD player with a high CP compared to both the company and other companies. Achieves both rigidity and non-resonance. Also pay attention to the edit function. Pioneer's three CD player models have been unveiled for the summer sales season. These include the PD6030 49,800 yen, PD7030 59,800 yen, and PD8030 89,800 yen. All of them have enough content to make you feel that they have a very high CP ratio, and will probably compete fiercely for market share with Sony's four core models that preceded them. A unique new feature, Auto Program Edit, never seen before with the exception of the PD6030, has been added, making it unparalleled in convenience when recording to tape. The functions of modern CD players are so to speak, and each company is trying to figure it out, but in this situation, the Auto Program Edit function can be said to shine a little. So this week, I'll focus on the PD7030 and write about its Auto Program slash Edit functions. This function automatically calculates and programs the number of songs that can be recorded within the length of the tape being used. For example, if you want to record a 20-track CD onto a C60 tape, you can record up to 30 minutes on each side, so press the edit key when you want to record from the first track, then press the 10 key because each side is 30 minutes long. Specify 3 and 0 in. 
Then, the built-in microcomputer instantly calculates and displays a total performance time of 29 minutes and 31 seconds, allowing for up to 11 songs within a range as close to 30 minutes as possible. Start the deck in this state. If you let this unit play, you can copy to tape without wasting anything. When the 11th song ends, it will automatically pause. All you have to do is turn the tape backwards or reverse it during that time, and if you then cancel the pause, it will automatically start playing from the 12th track. This function does not only start from the first song, but can also start from there if you decide on the specified song number in advance. The same applies to side B of the tape. On the PD7030, this function can be performed on both the main unit and the remote control, but on the advanced PD8030, it is only possible on the remote control side. Despite the price of 59,800 yen, this machine with the built-in auto program edit function can be said to have the best CP ratio. Also, as you can see from the photo, the display is a combination of a full-fledged 8-digit display plus track number indicator for up to 15 songs, and is a multi-display similar to the PD8030. Ten keys are included with both the main unit and the remote control. The bottom plate has a honeycomb rib structure common with PD6030 that achieves both rigidity and non-resonance. The unique disc stabilizer has also been improved to eliminate misalignment of the rotation axis, and the number of random memories is abundant at 24 songs. Although the number of products and price range of CD players continues to expand, 59,800 yen will be the most important price in the future, and it is the best-selling price. This machine is the ace of aces in its price range. There is a huge impact on other companies. This is a new product that is getting a lot of attention this summer. Editing functions that are great for CD copying. The Ace of Pioneer's three CD player models announced in mid-May is the PD7030. At 59,800 yen, it's right in the middle of the top-selling CD players in the future, and it's based on conventional technology, including a new disk stabilizer, honeycomb structure bottom end, and auto program edit function. Several improvements have been made to this product, which boasts a high CP ratio. The new disk stabilizer is a Pioneer original with a built-in stabilizer, and this time it has been further improved with a ball-style system that increases synchronization between the spindle axis and the stabilizer axis. The bottom end has a honeycomb structure, which adds tension to a steel plate, making it highly rigid and improving damping characteristics. The influence that the bottom plate of a CD player has on sound quality is surprisingly large, and the honeycomb structure is worth paying attention to as a technology that is different from increased weight. Now, the auto program edit function is a new feature that is useful when copying tape. This unit's built-in microcontroller calculates how many songs can be recorded without cutting out the sound within the length of the tape being used. It is especially effective for light music software that contains 3 to 4 minute songs. The display is also complete with a full-fledged 8-digit display. The sound quality is wide in both the F and D ranges, has a good energy balance, and does not have any peculiarities. It's not a light sound, but it's also satisfying for enthusiasts. It's like being an upperclassman in second class. Please take a look at this ability. Pioneer CD. A ball-aligned disc stabilizer that firmly suppresses disc resonance and achieves accurate signal reading. Pioneer's unique disc stabilizer, born from the latest vibration analysis technology, has been further improved in accuracy. We have adopted a new material with excellent vibration damping properties and a new ball alignment mechanism that prevents eccentricity of the stabilizer itself and ensures accurate signal reading. Vibration is suppressed and audio characteristics are greatly improved. Honeycomb chassis increases structural strength and eliminates resonance in each circuit. If the chassis, which is the base of the system, resonates, the optical system, rotation system, and other circuits will also be subject to vibration. 
The PD-7030 has honeycomb-shaped ribs in its chassis to increase structural strength and suppress external vibrations such as sound pressure to improve sound quality. A floating mechanism with a low center of gravity that prevents unnecessary lateral vibration and achieves accurate signal reading. Pioneer focused on the negative impact that vibration has on optical systems. Conventionally, we have adopted a floating structure in which the optical system mechanism is lifted from the chassis. The PD-7030 takes this one step further with a low center of gravity structure. This prevents the negative effects of external vibrations and enables accurate pickup signal reading. A crystallization of optical technology cultivated through laser discs. A small, high-precision pickup that exhibits excellent playability. Utilizing the laser technology that Pioneer has cultivated through the production of laser disc players, it is equipped with a high-precision pickup that is even more precise and compact. Excellent playability is achieved by using a three-beam tracking system and increasing the precision of each optical component. Highly rigid insulator with high vibration damping rate to prevent external vibrations. Unlike analog players, CD players have a pickup mechanism, audio circuit, and power supply circuit. Therefore, like amplifiers, high rigidity insulators are required. PD-7030 uses a material with high rigidity and high vibration damping rate for the insulator. It firmly fixes the body and efficiently absorbs external vibrations. Play the program according to the length of the tape. Auto program edit function is very convenient when editing tapes. Just specify the song number and tape time to start editing. The CD player itself determines how many full songs can be played on the tape being used and automatically plays the program. This is very convenient when editing a tape because you don't have to check to see if the last song ends prematurely.